But first, we want to begin with President Bush's surprise overseas trip where he was forced to dodge two flying shoes. NBC's John Yang standing by at the White House with more on this. John, this had to be a rather embarrassing moment. Embarrassing and a little odd, Matt. Yeah, the president is in the air right now, flying back from Afghanistan, where he uh, spoke to U.S. troops and went with Afghan President Hamid Karzai. But everyone is still buzzing about his earlier visit to Iraq when he got a rather graphic demonstration of what some Iraqis think of him and the U.S. presence. President Bush and the Iraqi Prime Minister were about to take reporters' questions. <laughs> When an Iraqi television reporter hurled a shoe, a grave insult in Arab culture, a gesture of deep contempt, he shouted in Arabic, this is a gift from the Iraqis. This is a farewell kiss, you dog. Then as he threw the other shoe, this is from the widows, the orphans, and those who were killed in Iraq. He was dragged from the room. NBC News producer Hazi Balkiz was sitting near the reporter. Everybody was so shocked. I believe... Even the Secret Service was a bit slower to react than you'd, you'd expect because it was so shocking. He had time to pick up his second shoe and throw it. The White House Press Secretary Dana Perino was hit in the face with a microphone as security wrestled with the reporter. The president wasn't hurt and seemed amused. It's a size 10 shoe that he threw. Iraqi reporters apologized to Mr. Bush, who called it a sign of Iraq's growing freedom. It is one way to gain attention. Uh, it's, it's like going to a political rally and having people yell at you. It's like driving down the street and have people not gesturing with all five fingers. Later, he reflected on the moment. I, I frankly, it's, it's, I didn't view it as that. You know, I thought it was interesting. I thought it was weird. I thought it was unusual to have a guy throw a shoe at you. But um, I, I don't, I, I'm not insulted. I, before leaving Iraq, Mr. Bush rallied U.S. troops. Thanks to you, the Iraq we stand in tonight is dramatically freer, dramatically safer, and dramatically better than the Iraq we found eight years ago. Now, we're likely to hear a lot of presidential jokes about this. As he flew from Iraq to Afghanistan last night, he told reporters aboard Air Force One that he really couldn't understand what the guy was saying to him, but he said he did get a look at his soul. Meredith. All right, John Yang, thanks very much.